have friends how are ya welcome back to my channel for this week's vlog we have a very fun vlog today because we finally got some patio furniture so we're gonna start decorating the outdoors together i also have some errands to run to get a couple things for the house um but i do have an interesting part of the vlog I woke up this morning and my ear had completely engulfed my earring. My earring is still in there. So I'm getting ready to go to kind of emergency appointment at my dermatologist and I think they have to cut it out. That's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> So before I leave, I have to dry my hair, style it, eat breakfast, get ready. But I just wanted to take y'all along for the day as we run some errands and decorate the patio. It'll be so fun. I started drying my hair, but then I caught it on my ear. Oh, look at how red it is. So I'm just gonna leave it halfway dry. The back is still very wet, but something happy I wanna show you. Very backlit, but look at these tulips I got from Trader Joe's. Aren't they so happy? They very much fit my desk. Also, I started this book and so far it's pretty good not as good as his other books, but um, I'm only like 70 pages into it, so we'll see. I also just had a Sephora package arrive that maybe we'll have time to look at before I leave, but it is time for breakfast, and guys, I am so excited because the Magic Spoon is sponsoring this vlog. Y'all heard me talk about Magic Spoon plenty of times. Even I did a whole unsponsored video about them because I love them so much. They're basically healthy cereal for adults. This one is my favorite. It is fruity and it is so good. It literally the side says high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious childlike cereal for grownups, which is exactly what it is. I built a variety box that you can do on their website. So I got fruity, frosted, cocoa is another one of my favorites. And then they have a couple new flavors. So I got peanut butter. Brooke really wanted to try peanut butter. They also have cinnamon that I really want to try. I know so many of you built a box with my my code last time, but in case you didn't, my code is still the same where you can use Mikkel J to get $5 off your like build your own box four pack. I'm gonna pour some and eat some and I'll tell you a little bit more about them, but I wanna show you the color of this. I'm so hungry. Look at how vibrant this is and it is colored with turmeric, spirulina, and vegetable juice. Like no artificial coloring at all. I love mine with oat milk. I'm gonna admit something to you. I also love to add a little bit of honey on this and have it as like a late night dessert before bed. It's already sweet, but just makes it like very dessert-like to add a little bit of honey. Don't tell anybody I told you that, but this is what it looks like. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It is so good, I swear. You have to add fruity to your box. It is my favorite by far. It is so good. It tastes a lot like Fruit Loops, but better. I had to cancel my workout today because of my impromptu doctor's appointment, but normally I love to have this after a workout because it's a lot like having a protein shake, except for just way more fun because it's a bowl of cereal. One serving of this has 13 grams of protein where a normal cereal has three grams. Also, normal cereal has 29 grams of carbs. This has only four. A normal cereal has 13 grams of sugar. This has zero grams of added sugar. This is sweetened with a sweetener blend, mostly monk fruit extract, which is naturally derived. And I've explained my justification for this before. It's $9 a box of cereal, which is definitely sounds like a lot. But when you break this down per serving, it's a dollar and eighty cents a bowl. And I think about how much I will go out and spend on a smoothie or even buying just those pre-made protein shakes from the store. And it is so much more. So that for all the protein that I end up getting in this, it actually ends up saving me money as opposed to going out and getting or even making a smoothie at home and buying protein powder. And I love it safely gluten-free for all of my fellow celiac friends like myself. It's just it makes me so happy, guys. I have loved Magic Spoon for so long, and it's just this is nice to kind of have the nostalgia of a bowl of cereal. So thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this vlog. Don't forget, I will have a link down below and code Mikkel J to get your first variety box for $5 off. Add fruity, add fruity and tell me what you think because it is so freaking good. I love it. I want to open this before we go because I never, ever, ever buy things from Sephora myself. I don't know why I feel, I feel guilty shopping at Sephora because I'm like, none of this is really necessary. But also when you run out of makeup, if it's like mascara, or something, you're gonna wanna replace it. I don't know. So I'll show you what I got. I got a couple fun things and I got a couple replacements and I got something I talked about really wanting. First glance. You guys know how much I loved the mini of this drunk elephant and I went ahead and bought the large. I realized it 
comes to about six to eight dollars a month depending on how often I use it, but I can go so much longer in between washes. It saves me money not having to style dry my hair and it saves me time too. So that's how I justify this. The TLC Happy Scalp. I can link all these things down below. This has been my go-to concealer for years now and mine's a little crusty. So it was time for a new one. This is the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. I got a lighter color this time because with all of my lupus stuff, ooh, it got really bad this morning because I got really stressed about my ear. <laughs> with all my lupus stuff, I'm not supposed to go out in the sun and I have been self tanning, but um, I've definitely been a lot more pale than I've ever really been in my life. So I got a lighter color and just a new one. This, I'm so excited for this. I wanted this for so long. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Ball. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. I, it kind of almost looks like a hand cream. I was interested to see, ooh. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's the thing with these containers. <gasps> stop, stop, stop. Oh no. That's the thing with these containers is they're so pressurized. You barely touch it and so much comes out. So it almost looks like a Vaseline. I want to try it. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like a vanilla Vaseline. That's a very warm vanilla scent. Now what do I do with <laughs> all this? This is something that I probably should have just bought the full size, but I didn't want to spend all that money at once is the Grande Lash MD Lash Serum. I was watching back videos when I actually would apply this every night and my eyelashes looked so good. And I was like, uh oh. So I got the mini one, which is I think technically a three month supply. I should have done the larger one. Like I said, I just didn't want to spend all that money at once. So I got the little mini one. I got the cheapest gentle toner at Sephora. This is actually has their clean rating, even though it's their own brand, but it's a gentle pH balance balancing toner, anti-pollution, and smoothing. When I got my facial, she told me to use a gentle toner every night, and all the toners I have are a little bit more aggressive, so I just wanted to find a cheap little gentle one. And then, you guys remember when I ordered mystery boxes online and there was a product from the Ink, Inky List? I think I said it looked cheap. <laughs> I, I thought a lot of things looked cheap, but a lot of people told me that it's the new, basically the ordinary. It's kind of the same thing where it's like pretty high quality items, just very, very cheap. So I got this, this is the peptide moisturizer. And I'm wondering if it's a copycat for the Drunk Elephant Proteiny, because that's a peptide moisturizer too. From the pictures, yes, it has the same type of container where you like press it down and it comes out on the top so you don't have to dig your fingers in there and get it all gross. So I mean, I definitely think their packaging looks really cheap, but like I said, they are pretty cheap. So maybe that's how they save money is by not spending a lot on their packaging. I'm excited to try this out. I will keep you updated. And then I have been out of eye cream. So I tried their eye cream as well. Like their packaging, something about it. Like I don't fully trust it, but everybody swears by it. So I know, don't judge a book by the cover. Mikkel, you are weirdly a packaging freak, but this is the caffeine eye cream. And and it helps reduce under eye puffiness, which you can see in this lighting because the light's only coming this way. I get these lines like halfway down my cheeks under my eyes, which is weird. So excited to try all that out. So thank you for letting me unbox this package. I was so excited about. Mostly really excited about the Drunk Elephant, the eyelash serum, and then the Summer Fridays because those are splurges that I've been thinking about for literally months. I will give you a quick little backyard update and then we gotta go. We gotta go get this figured out. I'm really nervous about what they're gonna have to do. A little backyard update. So I was debating between ordering an outdoor sectional with a little fire pit. I want both of these eventually or going ahead and ordering a table and chairs. I asked Instagram and actually the majority of the people said it's sectional, but that was a lot more expensive. And I found a table and chairs for a full table and six chairs for 500 something, which when I was looking at buying chairs and a table individually, it was way more. So I went ahead and bit the bullet. It had free shipping and it was on sale. So I was like, okay, I should do this now before it gets more expensive. And a lot of people said it'll be great to have friends over because I can only seat four here. So to be able to seat at least six outside for an outside dinner. Once we can all do that, I did get my first vaccine. So I'm getting close to being able to do that, but I bought it and I've been constructing it all week because the table alone had 96 screws, like screwdriver, screw into wood screws. So I'm going to roll some footage of me starting to put this together. We also went ahead since our grass was sprouting, we went ahead and bought soil and more grass seed and like a grass seed spreader and a rake and all of those things. We went ahead and 
properly seeded about half, maybe a, th a third to a half of our backyard so that grass will grow in full there. And later today we can finish setting it up and we can walk through our next plans out there because there's a lot more happening next weekend outdoors and I, I wanna walk through my plans with you and get your idea before I buy anything and commit to anything because you guys are very smart. Good news, she was able to get it out. Bad news is she pulled it through the back. <laughs> <laughs> and so now I actually have an appointment at three o'clock at a piercing and tattoo studio where I should have gone in the first place. Don't go to Claire's get your ears pierced. I now know. I now know. But they're going to replace these earrings with l probably little hoops so that my ear doesn't engulf anymore because these studs are so cute, but they're so small that it's likely to happen to the other ones. And then I got to get this guy filled again before it closes up. But they said that the piercing's salvageable. It's not infected, which is great. So that's the update. I'm going to run home. I have a meeting and then we'll head back out. We'll go get those earrings we're gonna go to the container store and then we're gonna go finish setting up the patio it's 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 a good day despite the unexpectedness it's a good day so i just had a quick zoom meeting at home i have officially am facing my fears i'm starting to hire out a team because jury duty made me realize i cannot always depend on myself to do everything and i cannot grow as a one-woman show and it's scary because it's now other people are trusting me for income, which is scary, but it's also very exciting. Um, so I've officially hired an editor and a very part-time executive assistant for some behind the scenes admin stuff. So that's very exciting, but I'm about to go to my appointment and I have something to admit. This is a car thought. Should I even admit this online? I can't believe I'm gonna admit this online. Does your brain never just do something really weird and you're like, what just happened? I was brushing my teeth really quick and I was gonna... <laughs> put my toothbrush back in the drawer and spit in the sink but I put my toothbrush in the sink and I spit in the drawer <laughs> how's your day going <laughs> let's go get new piercings put in that are a little more safe and let's go to the container store okay so I got new earrings in basically like paying to re-pierce my ears I don't go to Claire's but these are way more safe longer wider so they shouldn't embed and now I'm at the container store and I'm gonna try to find mostly drawers for my pantry because I'm going to do a whole like kitchen organization video next week and I don't really know if they'll have what I need worth looking something like this would work I'd prefer it to be short like this so that I can get to short things easier. I have my measurements, so I gotta look. I have never been upstairs at this container store and there's a huge elevator. Uh, so this kitchen stuff is mostly upstairs. This is basically exactly what I'm looking for. Something wide and short, but also long. So I gotta pick the right size based off my dimensions. This is the perfect dimensions, but I can't find a price for it anywhere but it's already one system altogether. So it might end up being easier and it looks like this, which I think will be perfect. So I have two more chairs to construct and then I am completely done constructing the chairs. You can put it all out there, take a look and talk through what my plans are. Um, and I'll show you some update on the grass as well. The trees, we bought a leaf blower. There it is. The trees shed. Can you see out there? We ran the leaf blower yesterday. That is how many leaves <laughs> these huge trees shed every single day. So the table is all set up, all six chairs. It's funny, it looks so small on this huge patio but like I said I want to walk you through some of my ideas and then get some of your thoughts so a few things that I want to do and that we need to do one thing is I need to formally get pots for these trees one fell and now it's crooked so I also need to find a way to straighten it back out but I need to find the cheapest spot to get some like large pots and then what I'm thinking in terms of furniture eventually getting a sectional that goes here so that it looks out at the majority of the yard with a fire pit in the center and maybe a couple other chairs just to have a huge conversation area and then eventually taking this table and turning it this way and having it here so looking at the huge patio space this way there would be the sectional chairs and then table here and then we still have all this area to park cars and everything and i also want to figure out a way to string market lights out here i'll show you the easiest option the medium option and then the hardest option that will look the best so the easiest option i have some market lights just wrapped around the porch right now would be to like 
swoop them up and down this, but that doesn't go very far. It stops here, but that would be super easy. Medium option would be to try to tie some in these trees up here and rope them back and forth between the house. And then hardest but best looking option, it just might be expensive, is to get a couple stakes in the ground over here. And then like maybe one, two, three, four, and then wrap them between the house and there. But these trees are so low hanging that we'd probably have to cut these trees down. And then I don't know what goes into <laughs> staking it, but our grass is sprouting so much more than even when we seeded it just two, three days ago. So that's exciting. We're getting some green. We seeded all the way to these palm trees, which is almost half. So hopefully that should pop up. And then we added just some planks of wood. I should probably stain them, but this fence keeps falling down all the time. And getting a new fence is expensive. It shouldn't be our expense since we're just renters. If we ever bought the house, we would definitely <laughs> save for a new fence because that's important. But what we're doing right now is we nailed that plank to at least keep boards from falling over because they fall over all the time. And then next week, next weekend, I guess I should say, um, so in the next vlog, you'll see we have gardeners coming and I'll put my little inspo picture here of what I sent them. But what they're going to do is they're going to do, this is basically 30 feet from here here all the way to those shrubs back here 30 ish maybe a little bit longer but they're gonna do 30 feet of trellis along this whole thing and they're gonna plant bougainvillea up it the only thing is their cost they only quoted me like 20 something dollars a plant and it's going to require at least 15 plants to fill that space and i was like if it's only gonna be 20 something dollars a plant are they gonna be a like tiny little baby sprouts <laughs> Is it not going to be fully grown for 10 years, you know? So that'll be a little bit of a surprise. We'll just have to see when they come next weekend. I found them on Thumbtack, so we've just been like messaging. So I haven't had like a real conversation with them. So maybe it's a little bit risky, but we're just going the cheap route. So if it doesn't work out, oh well. Learning experience, I guess. <laughs> also, this is not something I'll probably do anytime soon, but wish list would be to get a couple potted citrus trees out here like a lemon and orange lime and like have them potted out in this huge concrete space so that it looks more like alive and less concrete and barren and then if i had a lot of money <laughs> which i don't <laughs> nor do we own this place this whole fence right here is what our bedroom and both of our offices look out to so we're just staring kind of at the neighbors and at that fence so i would love to get planters let me see if i can find my inso picture for that as well but planters like this and plant trees in them but no idea where to find those what those would cost don't even want to know because that is something like if we own the house maybe <laughs> but not worth it as renters those are all of my short-term and long-term plans if you have any thoughts about the lights the furniture arrangement any thoughts at all i'm open ears so let me know i'm excited to start making the outdoor more homey all right friends i just edited the rest of the vlog and i do this thing where i talk too much and then i have too much footage and i did that again so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here but i i had a very fun day with you very glad we fixed my ears and we're starting to get the patio in shape so thank you for hanging out with me dodger game just came on i'm gonna go watch that with brooke but i wanted to quickly say thank you again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this vlog. Don't forget Mikel J for $5 off your first box and I will have that link down below. Is it bad if I have Magic Spoon for dinner tonight? Genuinely contemplating it. I love y'all with my whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Talking to you, here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in